Welcome to CFS Fiberglass, I'm Paul Brattel. We've got Alex here today to give us an extra pair of hands because what we're going to do is foam fill this boat hull using a PU expandable foam. Now we've cal calculated the capacity of this and it's 3,400 millilitres. So if we work that backwards, we divide by 25 because this has an, an expansion of approximately 25 times its content. So therefore we have 75 millilitres of resin A, 75 millilitres of resin B. We're going to mix those together in this pot very quickly because we have about two minutes before it starts to blow, i.e. expand. And then Alex is going to prepare the bag, we're going to roll it into the bottom of the bag and then put the lid on and it will expand through. Right, so here we go. A good tip here actually is to um, aerate the resin A, which is the clear one, to get a bit of air into it because it helps with the expansion. So give it a bit of a mix up. You can see the air bubbles in there to a certain extent, but it, it obviously does help. Okay, so ready to pour. Make sure you get as much as you can out of the containers before we start to mix. You ready Al? Oh, yeah. oh, all the bags ready, so we're ready to go. This has to be mixed up well and it needs to look very uniform by the time we before we pour it. Yeah, it'll be very quick though, Paul. Okay. Right, here we go. How's that? Is that okay? Yeah, get your stick and just scrape the pot out of it. Right. Yeah, because there's quite a lot left in the bottom of here, which obviously all counts. How's that? <coughs> now, while, while actually doing that, this material can obviously be used for filling voids um, and as a buoyancy aid in boat holes. That's quite a tight one that isn't it? So that sealed the top, that stops the, the foam from lifting too much and it, you'll see it Come out there. It's beginning to react now, look. Starting to foam. Yeah, it's nicely firming up. At least you have got some time to, you don't need to panic, you know, you have got some time before this stuff reacts. Here it comes. So about 15 minutes later, we've come back and we think we've probably got a shortfall because there's no foam coming out of here. It's stopped, it's stopped growing now, it's stopped foaming now. So Alex and I are gonna take the clamps off to have a look, see, see, you know, to see how short we are. Right. Let's have a look. Ah, yeah. Well, as you see, it, it's working, but because we're a bit short, it hasn't taken up the rest of the space. So what we'll do is we'll mix up some more, pour it straight on top of there, inside the bag, obviously take the bag back here, pour another layer, and then hopefully the job will be done. So as you can see, we've got a bit of a shortfall uh, here with the foam. So Alex is going to do another small mix, 50% uh, of each. We've actually got 50 mils there and 50 mils there. Alex is going to give this a real good stir to get loads of air into it and then 
do the, do the mix, do the pour, we'll put this plastic back over, put the lid on and hopefully the process will be fine. Ready? Right, here we go, yep. Pouring down the side so that we know that we're going to fill, fill exactly where the foam hasn't filled. Hold that back a bit there. How's that looking at the back there, Al? looking okay isn't it right bag back over leaving it room to expand that on there put the lid back on centralize it okay ready to clamp up One more clamp to go on. It's already, it's already coming out now, look, so this time that should be okay. We're back from lunch. Now we're going to um, take the clamps off. It looks as though we've got a good fill here, so hopefully we should be okay. Right. First of all, take the board off. That's looking okay. Right, let's peel back this. Obviously it's stuck in places, but generally it comes away okay. You can see there that um, that's a good fill actually now. What we'll do here is just shave off clean. We can slice through this and um, see if we can pull it out. Which, oh, there we go. Comes out pretty easily. That's a, that's a good job done. Now, um, the thing is, the point with this is that we had we did have a reasonable success to start with and then the second time we had to put an extra fill in here just to finish it off so it does prove that you can layer this stuff onto each other um, that bagging effect has made a good clean tidy job of it so well thanks for watching and see you again next time